You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast Season 4. Hey everyone, this is Naya. And as promised, I am back. But this time, I'm asking the questions. So, with that being said, I got great feedback from the last episode that I was on. And, you know, Mr. Gentleman, he always want to know about our love life. So, I just want to get into his world and just see what's going on with him. So, are you ready? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I'm here. And yes, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I believe I'm, I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm ready. You know, I, I'm not used to this, but let's, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Ladies, he sound a little nervous, right? You, let's see if he's ready. <laughs> let's, let's just see. see. <laughs> okay, so you ready to be in the hot seat? <laughs> yeah, I, shoot, I, I should take my own advice. Yeah, I'm ready to be in the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just ask, what physical feature are you more attracted to? Well, let's just say that you're most attracted to from a woman. Mm, um, I would have to say her eyes. The way she wear her hair, especially when it's curly for some odd reason. I don't know, when somebody got curly hair, it's really, like, catch my attention. Okay. And also, and, 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 and of course her personality, like, if she's, you know, doing something with her life or she's smart, that all oh, catch my attention as well. Most definitely. So, what is something that's an instant turn off during your first date? Mm, um, one bad attitude. That's like a biggest turn off for me. Like bad attitude, especially for no reason. Also, I hate this with a passion. I don't do this. So, if we on a date and she on her phone all the time, oh like, lord. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate that. You know, if we right? if, if, if we on a date, um, it put me you and me, not you and your phone. So exactly. That's <laughs> Being in the moment and enjoying everything that's going on. But exactly, you know. exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate that with a passion. Same and I guess and, and I guess somebody who's I guess asks for too much. Like who wanna do I guess more stuff than what we're supposed to do. Exactly. Basically, yeah. On yeah. your budget. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean I mean like I said, I don't mind I don't, I don't mind doing more, but don't 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 act for too much. Act for more exactly. than you have to go. Just, you know, just let it flow and let it vibe. Exactly. Exactly. And just see exactly. where it can go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Okay>. Exactly. <laughs> so let's just say the first date went well, right? And on the second date, she invited her homegirl and expected you to pay the bill. Would you? Ah, uh, uh, this is ah, uh, boy. Um. I mean, it it depends. I mean, she bring her. I'll probably be upset, but if the if the date still goes good and and, and it vibes well, I probably wouldn't mind it. Cause I mean, that's the type of person I don't mind it. But I guess give me a heads up. I mean, let's say that if she give me a heads up, then I wouldn't mind it. If she don't, then no. It's funny. A funny thing that actually happened to me before. Oh so, wow! Yeah, I know a girl with the end. You no, know, she like my first love, and she, she brought her friend to the date, and um. Mm-hmm. And I mean, at the time, me, Kyle friend cool her friends too, but you know, she could have gave me a heads up on what was going on. But you know, it by the end of the night, it, it, it vibes well, so I paid for the for the whole date. So yeah, I mean, it depends. I guess it it depends. It depends on like the vibe, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So in no particular order, name five qualities a woman must have in order for you to settle down with her. Mm, um, she got had. She got to be ambitious. She got to know where she's going in life. She got to have a plan. Um, she got to, you know, be, I got to be able to trust her. She got to be faithful. Stuff like that, pretty much. Okay. It's pretty good. So yeah. what is your best dating experience? And I'm going to also ask you your worst. So it's mm. up to you to decide which one you want to give me first. I, uh, I'm going to start with the best. So it was one girl I used to date. I think back in 2003, you know, wow. this was our, yeah, this was our third date. I mean, usually for my third date, usually if if I know a third date going good, is that's pretty much know where I'm going with this person. So, me and her on our third date, and um, I believe I took her to it was something that she always told me something that she wanted to do. So I kind of listened to her and I took her to the place. It was this toy store around um 
D59. It was on um, Home Alone 2 with Oh, human. okay. It, I know exactly what you're talking about. I think it starts yeah. with like an S, if I'm yeah, not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they, they played it in Home Alone. So, yeah. I took her, so I took her there. She was really happy about that because she always wanted to go there. Nice. And um, her favorite um, thing was Hello Kitty. So, so I got her Hello Kitty. Then, then I, I called it dinner. We went to dinner after that. And then the last thing was the icing on the cake. Um, I, I, I told her I surprised her with a horse carriage ride. And then, because she always wanted to do something like that. And I took her on that. And yeah, that was like one of my best dating experiences, you know. Oh my God, that sounds so adorable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, depending on the person, I, I, could, I would do a, I would do a lot depending on the person. It basically, it basically on the vibe. I get the way things go. Like Yes, definitely. It's always yeah. about the vibes. Very, very important. <laughs> Yeah. So, what about your worst? <sighs> um, I do got a worst. I do got a weird, <laughs> a weird thing. Mm, I'm interested to hear both. Now, I think the listeners will agree. We want to listen to both the worst I, and the weird. <laughs> I so the so the worst. Um, you know, so I went. Out, I met this girl in the club, and she was older than me. Mm, so cool so, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um. So um we, we did some so we went to walk in the park and stuff like that and stuff and as the time went on the vibe was just off. Like it was just, it was just off. I just I just wasn't feeling it at all. Yeah. And, and I was just like, nah, I don't, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I was gonna take her to dinner, but I just was like I just wasn't feeling like I like yeah, um I let let's just this early. I just I I just not feeling this day. And, and out of nowhere she got a really bad attitude mm. in, the, in the middle of the, in, the, in the middle of the street. And Sheesh. you know, and I, I, yeah, and I and I big old competition. So I just like walk away. Was she from Queens? <laughs> um I think she's from Harlem. I'm laughing because I remember from like our first interview, I had the same episode. So that's just kind of <laughs> interesting. And that person was from Queens. So I'm like, is this a Queens thing? Oh, Let I me know. know. <laughs> that, that, that'd be great. That, that, right? that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be funny. But now I think she was from Harlem. I think she was from Harlem, if I could remember. Mm. But then my weird, um, I had one date where she brought her mother to the date. Sheesh. Yeah. And um, it was a girl I also met in the club, and she, she also was older. <laughs> and uh, I, I got to start going for your older woman. Uh, so, um, and next thing you know, we, I, I'm, I'm headed to the day, headed to the dinner. Next thing you know, she called me and said, uh, I got my mother, because this is our last day, because she's not from New York, she's from Florida. Mm. This is my last day, I got to bring my mother with me. I'm like, oh, crap. So, um, so I kind of prepared myself. I kind of prepared myself, so I, you know, got flowers for her and her mother and Aww. stuff like that. So, so I, I was prepared, but it was another time. I had another weird day where she, she, a girl, a girl brought their kid. I, I was what? Prepared. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Just say that you don't have a babysitter. She was like, "Nope, you're gonna pay for not only my food, but you're gonna pay for my child's dinner." Also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's bold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was really last minute too, so that was the thing. Like, sheesh. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was my. Well, that was my experience. Yeah. <laughs> don't be dating no girls from the clubs. Cause when them lights turn on, it's a whole different story. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that, yeah, that was a that was that was that was my promoter's life. So that was Uh-oh. my tough promoter life. So yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> huh? so has any woman ever gotten away? Meaning, you could have done better by treating her right, but you wasn't quite ready at that time. And if so, did you just charge it to the game, or did you put your pride to the side and let her know? I'm not gonna lie, I did. I did have a few people. Um, um, let, um, got got away. It was mo- it was more of a me of me not ready financially wise and stuff like that. Like I was going through a lot around that time, and I just couldn't do it. And I mean, some possibly I did told them, but they just didn't understand at the time. But yeah, yeah, that pretty much that's the only reason. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't like I didn't treat her right. It just, yes. I, just wasn't, I just wasn't, you know, ready at the time. I was trying to get myself together. Cause I want to, cause for me, I want to get myself together. So, mm-hmm. so when I have that person, she, she, I know that she would be good, and she don't have to worry about struggling. You don't have to worry about the whole conversation of I exactly. need you to be my piece and all that. Yeah, other yeah, exactly. Yeah, yada, exactly. Yada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I respect it though. Listening from a man's point of view, I kind of respect it in a way because it's like you don't want to like waste a female's time if you know that you're not ready to settle exactly. down. So, yeah, exactly. much respect for that because a lot of guys is like, let me just see what I can get out of that person, and then when that person is fully invested, then it's like, up, oh, I don't think I want to be in this relationship, and that can cause major unnecessary heartbreak because it's like, dude, you could have just left from the beginning, but that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. So, um, do you feel like this generation believes in marriage? Mm, I mean, I I know I gave you a preview when you was on my show when you when I was interviewing you, but um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but um, I I mean I mean I don't the generation. I mean, a lot of feel like a lot of people don't in the generation. But I know I do do you know you know raising you know raised by two parents who was who was married for like almost thirty eight years. You know, a blessing. And, yeah it made it made me see that and like yeah i want that too and yes even though you know even though it's hard dating is hard this generation i do believe in i do believe in marriage even even yeah. you know that's just me yes no it's it's definitely important like especially building like a friendship and just creating that bond because you know it's a lot of work i've never been married but i can just only imagine like just waking up to a person every day for the rest of your life and just trying to build with that person and you know grow a family is a lot of stress on top of social media so it's like you seeing different ig models or you seeing you know guys with nice bodies so it has to be that solid foundation so that way y'all can just understand okay this is what we need and this is what we want in this relationship to make it work but a lot of people get blindsided by the smoke in the mirrors exactly exactly, 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 yeah agree yeah that's true yeah that's true that's true that's definitely true definitely i'm i'm always down for like that whole old school vibe you know i have an old soul so you're not yeah, the only one. No. You, 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 you're definitely not the only one. Trust me. You're definitely not the See? only one. You know when. So now, here's where things are going to get a little turned up. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be a little <laughs> easy on you because, you know, this is my first time, you know, asking the questions. Mm. As well as your first time being interviewed by a female on your show asking questions. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm not going to be too hard on you. Okay, no, I'm gonna get a I, little bit in your business, not a lot, but just enough so we can know, you know, what's your thoughts on things. Okay, you ready? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm in the hot seat. I'm used to say, it, yeah. I used to say it, but it, I, I, let's get. I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm in the hot seat. Let's go. Let's go. So we're gonna start off slow, and then we're gonna get right into it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let, let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, what's your definition of love, and have you ever been in love? Um, I mean, love is an action. I mean, it's a feeling. It's it's many things. God is love. It's many things, you know. Um, it's a wonderful feeling. It's also a bad feeling as well. Yeah. And and yeah, I definitely have. I've been in love twice. So oh. yeah, yeah, I definitely have been in love before. Are you one of those guys that like, oh, I've been in love. Are you open to be in love again, or are you just like, all right, I tried it once and twice, I'm done? No, nah, I'm definitely open. To, I'm definitely open. I'm, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I am definitely open to give it another try. That's great. Yeah. So describe what it's like for a man to get heartbroken. And I feel like a lot of females that's listening right now, they want to know from, you know, Mel's perspective on how is it like for y'all? Uh, it's like, I'm not going to lie, it's like, it's like the end of the world for us. Like, like mm. it, 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 it's like we know that we messed up and yes. it, like we can't get that back. Especially we, especially we know they feel like like, if we going through it and she she could move on back really quick and you know and we just feel like we, we just messed up we lost our chance it's, it's, it's the end of the world for the, the, the listen to the the 90s listen to every old school r&b artist <laughs> that, that, they that's was the right 80s there. in the rain <laughs> yeah you know you know from from from, from the 90s to the motown day that, that's that speak of how heartbroken we was how heartbroken we are no, that, yes. that's speaking right there. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, I noticed that you said based off of your part, but sometimes a female can do something to a guy. That's so true, how yeah. would you handle that situation? Uh, 
oh well if, if that's the case you know if she hurt me in some kind of way um I, I'd, be, I'd be upset I, I, I usually for, for me I usually cut them off usually so if they hurt me to the point that there's it, no turning back from it yeah I usually just yeah it's no it's over with me yes yeah so have you ever been cheated on while in a relationship or have you ever done a cheating I have been cheated on I never did the cheating almost did I'm not gonna lie almost did but but, mm, I want to know because I told you I'm gonna be all up in your business. <laughs> um, this is this is more like online flirting type of thing. And I kind of did it by mistake, and then the girl seen it. See, so you like can't that. be sloppy with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that, I mean, I got that. I have a flirting problem. You know but, what's you know, so crazy? Like, no, yeah. go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got you. You got. Because I, mean, I, I just I, thought about something. You know how like um. A few years back, not too long ago, remember how you can see like on IG, like whoever you're following, you can see like their history or for like if they like a pig or anything like that. So I felt like a lot of relationships were um, ending because of that. Because it's like, wait, you was liking this girl with her little bikini on? Oh, that, yeah, oh you was true, liking yeah. this style or you was flirting. So I'm happy that they took that feature off. <laughs> it was just true. too much because everybody don't have to know what you like and like, come on. <laughs> Yeah, but um, but, but cheating. Yeah, but as for me, as for me being cheated on, yeah, yeah, that definitely happened happened to me. Actually, one of the exes did it with one of my friends. She, not, yeah. that wasn't your friend then. Yeah, I know. It's close yeah. to this. <laughs> you yeah, don't know, do that. Crazy. Yeah, but that was like a long, long time ago. But yeah, still, so, yeah, it's do it. You know, still not right. So, yeah. how was it when you confronted them? Of course, of course, they, of course they, didn't, they didn't tell the truth. Of course, they didn't tell mm. the truth. So, so yeah. But how did you find out before you even confronted them? Shall I say? Ah, uh, it's a ooh, it's a ah oh, man, it's uh, you know something I don't want to get into, but okay. <laughs> that, that part, I don't, don't want to get that part. I, I don't want to get into that part. But, you know but, yeah. how y'all guys, y'all are more emotional than out, us females, but yeah, you know. <laughs> But, yeah. you know, it's real and it's raw. So I think we all got heartbroken, been cheated on. Yeah. So, you know, it's life and it makes you stronger. So take it as a blessing. Yeah. So um, do you believe in letting your lady go through your phone if you're in a relationship? Mm, I mean, I probably wouldn't mind it. Even though I never... I never had had that happen to me, but I would I'm I probably wouldn't mind it. I, I mean I'll keep it real most likely. So yeah, I'll probably do it. I feel like if a woman has to go through a man's phone, she's looking for something to like be upset yeah. about. So That's I just true, feel yeah. like trust, like you shouldn't have to look through my phone to like see if I'm cheating or not cheating. Like take my word for it and exactly, if you exactly. are doing corny stuff then it's gonna be on you at the end of the day true, especially true. if it's a good woman or if it's a good man so you know true true yeah true. so okay this is a little spicy question right here <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> you ready oh, oh. <laughs> yeah yeah i'm ready i'm ready all right so would you add another person in your bedroom and have you ever done it before or willing to try? Ooh, gee Louise, this is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I told um, you. <laughs> um no, I no, I never I never tried that. What is I wanna... that something that you would do? Like say for instance, like you're in a long term relationship and you know, your girl be like, Babe, I wanna spice it up in a bedroom. Can I bring, you know, a lady or can you find like someone for me and let's just kinda spice it up? Is that something that you will agree with or you'll feel like no, like you should just wanna be with me? Uh I probably would say no. I don't I don't know. I think I think if that was to have I probably would feel bad at though. I so I'm, I'm gonna go with no. Why would you feel bad? Uh, I I don't know. Cause I, I don't know. I, I I don't feel right. You know, if she, you know. I have my woman and have another woman. Even though she approved it, I probably do what I feel right. That is, that what is if me. this is something like a fantasy? Like, oh my god, I always just wanted to do this, but I wanted to be in a secure relationship, babe. Come on, let's just do it. Let's have fun. Let's spice <laughs> it up. What would you say, like, if she already bring a girl and be like, all right, babe. 
take both of us down, would you be like, nah, like kick her out, or would you be like, all right, cool? I mean, I probably, I mean, I probably would go with it, but <laughs> but I know I, I probably would just do it. But I know in the long run, I probably would. I don't know. I probably would not really care for it that much. Okay, yeah. that's good, and I respect that. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I mean, if it happens, I guess if it happens, it happens. But yes. yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. Yes, everyone has their thing, so that's just not your thing, yeah. which you know your partner would just have to respect. True. True. Oh. So. Um, so have you ever or would you ever try the BDSM lifestyle? And when I say BDSM, it's basically a variety of erotic practices of role playing involving bondage, discipline, dominance and submission for the most part. <laughs> would you try or have you ever tried on some fifty grades, <laughs> fifty shades of gray? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have not tried. No, I have not tried. No, I have not tried. Would you? Would I? Um, I I think depend on the person. Okay, so be, say uh, this is like your wife. You're married, and she's like, "Babe, let's just get into this whole BDSM lifestyle. I'm gonna try something different. We've been together for years now, and I just wanna try something different." And you know, she presented to you far as you know, she put you in handcuffs. I don't know if she wants to be the dominant one or maybe the submissive. Who knows? Is that something that you're like willing to try? Um, knowing me, I probably would, I probably would probably give it a try probably one time, maybe. They were like, babe, let's just take some shots to do say in what, 1942. I don't know what people drink and I drink do say. So she'd be like, oh, let's just take some shots and let's just try it. She got all the stuff. She went to the adult store and she's like, all right, this is what I want you to put on. And this is what I'm going to put on and then do the whole role playing. That's not something that you're willing to try. Now you have me. Now we get. Now you have me thinking. <laughs> um, I told you it's getting spicy. Yeah, it is. Wow. Um, I, I probably, I probably would try it once. I would say probably once. Try it once. What yeah. if you like it though? So would that be something that, like, as a special treat? Like, all right, babe, let's just do this like once a month, and then maybe twice a month, and so maybe every week if you like it that much. And she's like really into the whole role playing thing and. Hey, um, master, I guess. I don't know. Cause <laughs> it's some wild stuff. It, it's some wild stuff out there that's like, wow, okay. But, you know, that's just something that excites her. Is that something that you're like willing to like kind of compromise and just do it to make your lady happy? Um, probably, probably on special occasion. I don't think, I don't think I would do it on a, on an often type of thing. I think okay. that's something. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it has like to be like a special occasion, yeah. like a birthday, maybe Valentine's Day, or maybe yeah, if she yeah. had like a long, stressful week, and it's like, you know what, let's just try something fun and get your mind off the of work. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So now I'm gonna cool it down. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sense that you're sweating right now. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm you good. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um. If you can give anyone any advice who, you know, believes in love, what would you tell that person? You know, I would say don't give up. You know, it, it's some more fishes in the sea. You only came from some, some bad seeds. It always when to always change that change that around for you. Also, sometimes the unexpected person usually the one that takes change your life. So that's so true. Yeah. Interesting that you said that. Yeah. So, so yeah. So you just never know. Something you can judge a book by a cover, but that person that you never see coming could be that one for you. It could potentially change your life. That's so, yeah, so that's, true. Yeah. So true on that. Okay. So that's the end of the questions. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And you know, Naya, thank you for doing this. You know, thank you for taking the time to interview me. For you and know, thank for, you for having me. <laughs> yeah, have you back at the show, and we are gonna bring you back. We are gonna bring you back in for a future episode. So, yes. um, so she have she shows before she goes. She have an announcement to make. So, <laughs> hey everyone. <laughs> 
This is Naya Rume underscore 88 on IG. And um, I have a little surprise. Well, it's not a surprise now, but I started my podcast thanks to Mr. Gentleman. He was like motivating me and I was like, I don't know. But um, it's titled Who the F is Nana. So that's WTF space capital I capital Z and at sign N at sign. So I'm going to be released in the first episode on the 28th, which is my birthday. So stay tuned. And, you know, thanks again, Mr. Gentleman, for having me <laughs> again. Yeah, 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 thank you. Yeah, thank you for doing this, Naya. And we'll be right back. Yes. You are now listening to Mr. Gentleman Lifestyle Podcast Season 4. Yeah!